tonight. Here's somebody who came come in tonight. She's got we're almost Saturday, so she's on her tatty teddy dish, which she always has on a Saturday. But she always stands on it as well. <laughs> I don't know why. <coughs> oh. uh, I don't know why I've got the cold this time of year, but still. <laughs> it's tough. Tiny somebody, the birds are singing outside. It's still dark out there, but somebody likes her food. Somebody likes her food so much, she can't even wait for me to put it out properly. And you're going to have it on the floor. You can't eat it on my bed like this. I've got to get back into bed, he buys. It's early in the morning. Still dark out. The birds are singing. Oh, dear, my aquilegias are in bloom now. Look, they're both different. And this one's going to bloom, this wildflower plant. But yeah, these are all nice. I'll put them outside for a little while, I usually do. It doesn't want to focus on it, but I'll put it on the macro setting where it's so pretty. They're so lovely. They're my aquilegias that I got from Waitrose. I don't know if this is recording or not, I can't see the thing because I'm in the daylight, but they look so lovely. So pretty. And there's some Herb Robert growing on the wall. <laughs> Herb Robert. There's some more down here, including the white one. Just washing it out, sorry. And these, oh, British, no, what are they called? I can't remember what they're called. These are the euphorbias. I used to have pink and oh there's a white bluebell. I can't see the pink ones now but Oh there's a pink one over there. Oh I can see the Enchanter's nightshades are coming up again as well. There's a little somebody waiting to come in. Oh I'm having one of these at the moment, huh? You've got the right colour. <laughs> these are nice. I've not tried an Oreo egg before, but I think they look quite nice. These lovely little pittosporum flowers. They're tiny, but they've got such a glorious scent. Beautiful. And when you've got the light through their petals, they look like jewels. It's in the wrong place at the moment, but they're lovely. They're lovely. This is inside the Oreo egg. Mm, quite nice. Mmm. My quillages, they look nice. Hey, somebody knocked my computer off its box and she was stood at a funny angle and <laughs> she's waiting. Somebody's waiting on Easter Sunday. <laughs> what a very alert little cat. A very alert little cat. <laughs> yes, yeah, somebody's washing a pool now. A funny little somebody, so pretty. I tried to get the dollies ready for Easter Monday tomorrow, and um, I'm hoping to do a, a Easter bunny hunt in the garden. But uh, oh, we'll see how I feel. Oh, does Grace match the Easter bunny box? <laughs> sort of. Oh, we're actually going now. Gosh. Everyone stood here ages waiting for the first time. And it was just a hand that I grayed out for ages, wouldn't do a damn thing. And um, I'm sorry, I'm not well. I'm trying to do my Easter weekend vlog. I got this from a health food store, independent health food store. I'm sorry, I was just got so fed up waiting. I've had some, some of my, you know, my. Marks and Spencer's choppies. I wasn't well for Christmas. Well, no, I'm not well for Easter. With bronchitis, it's like this cold has left me with bronchitis. And it's quite, it's hot today. I feel quite cold at the moment. And before, I was really hot. And, um, <coughs> I'm all 
over the place, so I just can't think straight either. Well, now what was I going to talk about? It's all gone out of my mind now because I've waited so long. I was going to have one of these, but I won't now. I've had those mint chocolates. And I'm going to have one of these at some time, the chocolate avocados. So, you know, as we're going greyed out, aren't we? I've got these ready to do the Easter bunny hunt, which I'm hoping to do in my friend's garden tomorrow. I've dressed the dollies accordingly. Grace has oh, still got her boots on from the Easter egg hunt. How I got any of that, fi um, I mean, it was already filmed, but how I got it edited and saved I don't know I mean all the little clips were already made and filmed but I could not get the video made that is the video saved all the clips to get the movie maker did not like it I don't suppose anyone else does either <laughs> and I had exactly the same problem if not worse for the preliminary video where with all the un vastly unsuitable footwear that the dollies were wearing <laughs> inappropriate footwear like Marley's here I had to be firm and have the health and safety I'm sure I, I, I watched the video back and was annoyed at how many times I said unsuitable footwear I thought, oh shut up how many more times it was so annoying so I do apologize to anyone who's actually seen it there's daisy petals I do intend having daisy petals and two other shoppies and and the other and if I can get peppermint unboxed this particular one you know I've got two I'm going to keep one in the, and uh, so maybe the gelati scooter can be utilized as well and I was going to have a snowball but um, I haven't even got it in my little friend is on the landing she's there on the landing uh, hang on. right now oh something's caught on this beaten web I thought should I have a baby sham but um, it's not exactly uh, Easterish, but uh, these look more suitable for Easter. But the colour scheme, where's Grace? Grace, Grace, you should like these. She said, no, I don't drink alcohol. And I can't say I do, particularly, just once in a blue moon. And I don't even know I fancy one of these at the moment. Does everything match? I want, I'll probably do all this tomorrow and open one tomorrow and I might have a baby sham now. I've got my, this, this, ah, uh, ah, uh, I want to open this, but I don't feel like any today. I'm just a bronchitis, I'm, ah, uh, that's how it's left me, but it's cold, I've got bronchitis now, so. Look, a chocolate teapot. Oh, I may not need to put the overhead bulb on because we're getting washed out now aren't we because I haven't I've just got the natural daylight coming in and the door open <sighs> hang on though uh, coming and going let's put the light on sorry about my voice again always having to apologise always having to apologise for my voice aren't I because it's always going there's always something wrong bronchial. I think I get allergies as well anyhow there's the um, there's none of these left in Waitrose, so if I totally really really like, I want to get another one. But I don't think this is going to be as good as the that delicious best egg in the world ever with the edible soil that I've shown many times in in my videos. Because it's the best Easter egg ever in the whole history of the world. Oh, hair clip or something. This is driving me mad. Now, let me just get this. Oh, my hands are all hot. It's gonna, they're going to melt, the, and they've got go, it's got gold on it. And my hands are hot, and they're going to melt the Easter egg. I mean the chocolate. Oh. I've usually got cold hands. I suppose it's warmer today. Oh. Everything is getting on my nerves at the moment. I'm afraid I can't help it. It's just I don't want to melt the, the egg. Not usually, my hands are so cold I can't even feel them, but <laughs> oh dear, excuse me, oh, I wanted to show you the chocolate teapot, oh my hands are hot, oh dear, 
Oh, uh, chocolate. Anyone? Chocolate tea? Oh. You, you won't be able to... Yeah, you can't see that. There's the chocolate. Oh! Let me try and hold on to this. I just want to show people the loveliness of it. There's the chocolates you get with it. They're meant to be like sugar cubes. Could have one. Mmm. 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 Mm. Nice. This rub having anything in it now. It's just um, a hollow teapot. Put a bunny rabbit on there. Oh, great. I was trying to cover up the light. Oh, that was nice. That tasted like... Oh, that's got a taste of, um, like, rose or something. Scenty. Oh, that's delicious. Let me have a look. See if I can tell you which one. The white one. Uh, perfumed jasmine tea in creamy white chocolate. Delicate. Delicately perfumed. Yeah. Oh, it's lovely. Oh, it's delicious. Mmm. Yeah, I'm going to save that for another the other one. Cocoa tea nibbles. Cocoa nib tea, tea leaves. That's that one. Oh, Earl Grey tea. Oh, then sorry, I need to blow my nose as well. Oh, excuse, do excuse me. Oh, dear. Yeah, I had to blow my nose. You know, I haven't been near anyone with a cold. And as well as that's what happens, you're travelling on public transport, you see. You, you go on the buses and... Uh, I haven't heard anyone, like, normally I get a load of coughers and sneezers around me. I haven't noticed any of that, so... I suppose it's just in the air, isn't it, germs? From other humans? Oh, the human race leave a lot to be desired, don't they? I don't know whether to have... Open one of these or to... Open that. I don't feel like either at the moment. I was going to open it because you know, I know some like to see me pouring the things out and it looks nice in the baby sham glass, but I've dropped one. Where's that one? There's one gone. It's fallen down and I can't find it. A, 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 a sugar cube. I thought there was one missing because I only had one of that and there should be two of those. Oh, I'll have to try and find it. I don't know it's gone. Oh dear. Oh, there's Grace's bag here, but not the other sugar cube that's missing. Oh dear. I found it now. It was nestled under my monitor there, hiding. So I've got it now. And um, I might try, try it. I'll try one. Mm. I like the white one best so far. Mmm. I'm going to try this one. Mmm. Mmm. That's so pretty. What I would like, you know, what I'd, if I could, I'd love to be able to travel. Um, uh, the Tokyo Sky Tree are doing a collab with Barbie. And they've got the most delicious Barbie chocolates I've ever seen. Oh, I wish I could get them. I wish you could buy some. I mean, like, for, you know, in the UK. They, oh, they, they look so lovely. Oh, I was going to be ashamed to have to eat this lovely teapot. Which end, end do you start? The spout? I think I'll take the spout, the top. I really don't know. <laughs> I tried to get a bottle of my Amarula cream liqueur for Easter, but they'd sold out in Waitrose, so hopefully next week would it... It'll be after Easter then, won't it? But never mind. I don't even, I don't even fancy one of what I have got. But, uh, yeah. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Oh. He's done up again now. He's inside. I think I will have a baby sham. I think I will. There we go. There's a nice picture on the side. Presented so nicely. But I would prefer the best egg in the world ever. 
with the um, edible soil, but never mind, this is nice, this is nice chocolate teapot. Uh, he's back. I've put him back over there now. Rhino's guarding him. <laughs> I found these little things dying on the pavement yesterday afternoon, and then hours and hours later, I picked them up and brought them home. They were all totally limp, and I put them in water, and this is the next night, and look how they've revived. There's bluebells and... There's somebody looking at herself in the reflection of my monitor. That's a funny little pose. Yes, she is. So pretty. So pretty. So pretty. Look at that little face. Notre Dame Cathedral Bells. Recorded a while back, obviously. Are you enjoying it? Hey. For Easter? So pretty. Yeah, two Easter rabbits together. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. I've got another Easter rabbit. Oh, down here. Does he still light up? Oh. Oh. Yeah, he does. Yeah, I'm going to take him to my friend's house to do more uh, Easter bunny hunt. We're talking on the radio about IVF treatment. How times change. My mother had me when she was 44, and, there, and she didn't have any IVF. She didn't expect to get pregnant. She thought she was safe, as she put it, at that age. Cause she, you know, and then she had me, and then I came along. But um, nowadays, these so-called experts make women think it's impossible to have a child if they're about 37, let alone my mother's age when she had me. So, oh, I don't know. Medical, me everything's medicalised. Every single thing is medicalised and people go berserk if you dare to even question it because it's so ingrained into their consciousness from the moment they're born. Oh, dear. I'm going to take a bite out of my chocolate teapot. Hang on, let's put the light on. Oh dear. <coughs> we need it, don't we? And I think we're not in the right place. They're too low. <coughs> Hang on now. Yeah, I'm, oh, I've got, I made a new skirt for Tania. Well, I haven't made it last night. I made it a while ago, quite a while ago, but I mean, she's wearing it for. She has tried it on before, I have shown it before in in videos she's worn it but <coughs> she's coming to Easter bunny hunt Easter bunny hunt anyhow I'm going to have one of these as well the Waitrose chocolate avocados you know they are quite delicious but I'm going to take a bite from my chocolate teapot I thought I'd show it in all its glory before I do it's got like a gold effect on it. I don't know if you can see that. I might take a bite from down below rather than biting the spout and ruining the top part. See the rabbit? Oh, hay fever, yeah. Oh, dear. I, I don't I expect it's hollow. And these sugar cubes that you get with it are delicious. That's the best one. That's lovely. What did I say that contains? Delicately, per delicately perfumed jasmine tea and creamy white chocolate, and that's delicious. The other one is. Hang on, they show four different ones. Cocoa tea. Are they cocoa nib? Tea leaves. Well, where are they? They? They're not here. They must be inside the teapot then, because there's none of those. And then Earl Grey tea with mandarin <coughs> in smooth milk chocolate. So that's that one. And then 
Warming black tea and ginger in rich dark chocolate. So that's that one. I should be listening to this rather than talking all over it because I'm trying to listen to this program, but I'm trying to do this for you at the same time. And Oh, he's even wearing a monocle. That's so sweet. Oh, he's even wearing a monocle. That's so sweet. And there's the gold look on it, the edible gold effect. What a lovely chocolate teapot. I wonder if there are any. Oh, yes, yes, I've just shaken him. There are edible... The edible soil's inside. Oh, so I better, better not bite from the bottom then. I have to be top up, up, top down, I think. Oh, lovely. So I can dip those in, the edible soil. It doesn't make it plain. What a lovely chocolate teapot. I wonder if there are any. Oh, yes, yes, I've just shaken him. There are edible... The edible soil's inside. Oh, so I better, better not bite from the bottom then. I have to be top up, up, top down. Well, are we recording now? Anyhow, yeah, I didn't realise, but um, this has got... I can hear it. It's got edible soil inside, but it doesn't make it plain. I'm so sorry about my voice. And I'm fed up. I'm always having to apologise for my voice because it's all, all, always seem to have some sort of... always getting colds. I'm fed up with it. And, you know, this time of the year, I shouldn't. I'm going to take a bite out of this anyway. Oh, I don't know. I will take a bite from the bottom one. <coughs> Still solid. Still solid. Oh. Still solid. Oh. Bad enough I've got this. Caught my friends. Cold little fruit he brought back from his sister. I had all over Christmas. And now I've got one. Probably from, This is what you get travelling on public transport. Anyhow, this is... It's okay. It's not as nice... It's a rather rich tasting chocolate. It's not as nice as the um the you know the egg the egg that he does the with the white over, overlay. Well, I've made it a hole in it. So all the edible soil will fall out. Hmm. I should get round this by storing it upside down. Uh, so that's what I'll do. I'll store it upside down in the um. Oh, and I'll put it back. So it'd be like <coughs> it'd be like that, upside down. And um. Oh, I'm so. Uh, why should I apologise? It isn't my fault. I mean, I tried to do these videos for you, my dear. Watchers and subscribers, I value very, very much. I do try. And then I'm thinking, oh, God, they've got to listen to me and my voice in this awful state. Anyhow, I know sometimes people like to see me. I don't know why, but let's get one out. There it is, the Waitrose chocolate avocado. Oh, they are. They are nice. <coughs> right, let me see if I can, um, oh, hang on, oh. he's too quick for my webcam, I think, oh, oh that's enough, I think, <laughs> face on that butterfly in my friend's house, it's a calendar, look at the face on it, isn't it, that little character, it's a real little character, isn't he, this little butterfly, <laughs> Easter Monday and I've tried doing the 
Easter bunny hunt in the garden, but I'm a, I wasn't really up to it because I'm still not well. And, um, yeah, anyhow, I did, it was like little tableaus and that, so I did the best I could. I think it's time I used up this. I've had it ages, and these are, not, these are nice, these are, because they're in different packagings now. They can see how, how it suits. But they're nice, these are properly in steel too. Wow, my check desk seems to be working today, so hopefully if it, I let this do this, this won't start up now every time. Because for a long time, check desk hasn't been able to c c finish this, so, um, yeah, hopefully it will now. I'm going to have the last remaining Waitrose chocolate avocado today. Oh, the last one. Oh, my check disc is operating. I've emptied, I've tipped out this all from the teapot, all the edible soil. I've tipped it all out. Look, here it all is. Oh, look, and you've got a... That's a where do that's from? A chocolate bit. Hmm. So, these like cocoa nibs and... I don't think these are as nice. Hmm. And the medallion, by the look of it. Chocolate medallion. I don't think these are as nice as what... You got in the um in the um uh, best Easter egg in the world. Let me just um try to dunk with them. See what it's right. Hmm. No, there's no passion fruit pieces in there. It's nice, but it's not as nice as the most delicious Easter egg in the world. Let me fix this in. Keep this secure. Hmm. That does fit in nicely. Otherwise, that would go everywhere. I don't know all over my bed. I'm putting the mice back in. Hmm. <laughs> I should have bit the end off the spout, shouldn't I? And then I could have poured the tea grains out of the pot into the little tray. That would have looked good. Well, we did an Easter bunny hunt yesterday, a gold bunny hunt. And um, Grace has got her Easter bonnet on. <laughs> well, a hat anyway. It may not be an actual Easter bonnet, but it's a hat. And I took peppermint here down, and uh, along with some other sh uh, shoppies. The um, so there's the scooter free from its uh, box at last. There's the um, Shopkins and the mini Shopkins on the back, and there's like a little scoop here as well. Look, which is so cute. Ooh. Always drop things, don't I? There's a little mini scoop as well, which goes into this little. Part, part, uh, oh. part, I can't even think of the word, what would you call that? Part, part not part, not at the back, I don't know. And uh, this little beauty came down, particle, part, compartment, compartment, department, compartment, oh. Anyhow, I've, I un, I've taken this out of its um, wrapper, uh, Sumiko Garashi, plush. There's the uh, little bear. I can't remember what he's called, I'm sorry, but he, he sits on there. They're tied on so you can't lose them. This is the calf, the corner, you know, the, they love the corner. So cute! There's the little clock on the wall and the, the, the look at the, um. it's so lovely, everything is so lovely. And uh, so, yeah, I wish he'd st stay in place. Let me just go and put the light on. So, um, yeah, I don't know if it's going to sh show up more of an unrealistic colour now. At least it was more natural. But how come he's got, like, dirt on him at the back? He shouldn't have that. He's not... He's got, like, a bit of... He's, all, he's been wrapped up! Ah, don't know what that is, but um, so there we go. That's so cute. 
doesn't have the fourth opportunity that he wants. Yeah. Raymond, there we go. Is it lovely? This is, should be. It's all soft, you see. It's a. Uh, oh, come on, stay. Sit in your. Sit. Sit. He didn't want to sit. He can't get him to stay. Perhaps it's because his tail's in the way. The other little one stays in place, this one. But, uh. You know, I love my Samiko Garashi. I've got another one somewhere, a little plush. I don't know what I've done with this, but I love the cafe one. It's my favourite. <laughs> oh, he didn't want to stay, and that's, that's fine. Yeah. I wish we had a proper Samiko Garashi cafe in the UK. Try and go there. <laughs> Let's have another look at this. Delectableness. Delightfulness. The delight. Uh, delightfulness. There. Let's see what she looks like in there. Doesn't really go, go but it's not the right colour scheme, is it? No, pepper mint is best. She's best. In here. There's a tape, the little table is more or less in the way, isn't it, when you're trying to view it from, oh, he does not want to stay, does he? So that's what he's, he's in his little corner now, and, uh, yeah, okay, and, uh, did I, have I got all the, because um, the mini, but let me take this off a moment, I'll just, because it does come off, I just wanted to show you how all these little mini ones have little separate, they've got their own little faces, oh, they've got their own little separate face, what's that in the way, oh, hair clip is needed, see their little face, little separate faces, each one has got their separate faces, and um, everything's got its own little face on. Oh, where are we? Where's the webcam? It's so cute. Look at that. Look at that little face. It reminds me of that little butterfly on that calendar at my friend's house. You know, my friend's got... He's always saying that the reason there's maybe there's so much mental health problems with everyone nowadays is because of all the alcohol their parents and that take. And, and I've always thought, oh, well, that's probably not true. But it makes me wonder, they're talking on the radio earlier about IVF and um, how they're making women of 37 feel they're far too old to have a baby unless they use IVF. Well, my mother was in her 45th year when she had me and I wasn't planned. And um, I was the only child, you know, she had, she always thought she was safe because I used to hear about this. And she, ne she had a healthy suspicion of doctors. She never took anything from doctors ever. She wouldn't go to doctors and she never took anything from, no pharmaceutical concoctions, nothing. And um, and then when she was pregnant, they, they were apparently worried about her blood. They gave her a load of cocktail of drugs to take. She wouldn't took it away, but she never took any of it. And she reckoned I might have been born with something wrong with me if she had. And because um, they said, oh, you know, had a wonderful, healthy baby. Oh, of course, you had all the good, helpful medication. She never took any of it. And... Um, of course, you, you, you don't even mention that now. You shot down in flames immediately. The fierceness of the rage and anger from people, if you dared to tentatively suggest, or well, maybe, you know, they shouldn't be taking pharmaceutical drugs, they, they go completely berserk about it because it's so ingrained into the consciousness, especially in the West, in this country and in America, because they've grown up thinking, you oh, you must see a doctor. It's imperative about anything. And I remember talking to that lady in the shop whose husband had psoriasis and she, he, she said he ended up with liver damage as a result of all the long-term steroid use and he'd said to her when you've got psoriasis as bad as him you've got no choice you've got to take the stuff from doctors and i was stood in front of her and she could see me with it all over my face and she but yours is far worse than his it has ever been and i never took it you know the source of used to get rid of it in three days, it would be got in less than that, and it would be gone. And then, of course, they t it got taken off the market for my own good, apparently. So they didn't want people using it anymore. That's a whole new other story. And um, and anyway, I never did use anything from the doctors for psoriasis, and I wouldn't. 
because um, I believe it it makes it worse. And certainly when you stop using, if you stop using steroids, it's worse. They told me, the skin specialist said, you will have to have steroid use for the rest of your life. Well, I never used any of it, ever. And, um, and when I went back to see him, oh, I can see the steroids have done their work. And I said, no, I haven't used them. And I showed him the source of thinking he'd be pleased because I'd found something that would help people. But no, the disapproval and the rage and the hatred from people and I, th I couldn't understand it. I, was, I wasn't prepared for it because I thought they'd be so pleased that there was something that actually worked and I was proof of it. But no, no, they just, I, they just wanted me silenced. I couldn't believe it. Even people with psoriasis, I, you know, you try and tell them to, and you think it's going to help them and they just get angry. I couldn't understand it. Because, uh, you know, you anyhow, I don't want to pontificate too much, but I try to help people, but against all the odds. And, there's, you know, you get attacked for trying to help people. And, um, yeah, anyhow. Oh, I, sh I don't know why I do it. I don't know why. I can't just keep my mouth shut, be quiet. Let other people go down the route of all the doctor's stuff, if that's what they want to do. Don't try and advise. Oh dear. I don't get angry with them and say, oh, you're stupid for using stuff from doctors. I just say, okay, well, all right, you know, if you, I'm only giving like an alternative viewpoint, but oh, they get really angry. I can't understand it.